Building a bridge is no small feat, and it requires a ton of planning, engineering, and hard work. And the Gordie Howe Bridge is no exception. The first step in the process of building a bridge is usually the planning phase. This involves identifying the need for a bridge in a certain location, studying the site to determine the best design and construction methods, and obtaining all the necessary permits and approvals. For the Gordie Howe Bridge, this process took many years and involved extensive collaboration between the governments of the US and Canada. Once the planning is done and all the necessary approvals are in place, the next step is to secure funding for the project. This can involve a combination of private investment and government funding. In the case of the Gordie Howe Bridge, the project is being funded by a public-private partnership between the governments of the US and Canada and a private consortium called the Bridging North America team. With the funding in place, the next step is to actually start building the bridge. This involves a wide range of activities including site preparation, foundation work, steel and concrete fabrication and cable installation. For the Gordie Howe Bridge, construction is expected to take around five years and employ thousands of workers. Throughout the construction process, there are a number of checks and balances in place to ensure that the bridge is being built to the highest standards of safety and quality. This includes regular inspections by engineers and other experts, as well as stringent testing of materials and components. Once construction is completed, the final step is to open the bridge to the public. This usually involves a grand opening ceremony, followed by the start of regular operations. For the Gordie Howe Bridge, it's expected that the bridge will be open to traffic in 2027. We're talking about the new $4.4 billion mega bridge connecting the US and Canada the Gordie Howe Bridge. And let me tell you, this thing is no joke. It's said to be the longest cable stayed bridge in the world, stretching over the Detroit River and providing a vital trade link between the US and Canada. Now, I know you might be thinking, yeah, whatever, another bridge, big deal. But trust me, this one is a big deal. First of all, let's talk about the business side of things. The US and Canada are the largest trading partners in the world and a strong and efficient transportation system is crucial for moving goods and people back and forth. The Gordie Howe Bridge is going to be a major player in this system, helping to reduce bottlenecks and improve the flow of goods and people across the border. This is going to be a major boost for businesses on both sides of the border, and it's going to help keep the economies of the US and Canada strong. But the benefits of the Gordie Howe Bridge don't stop there. The construction and operation of the bridge are also expected to create thousands of jobs and stimulate economic development in the surrounding areas. And with the COVID-19 pandemic still fresh in our minds, this is a welcome piece of news. Plus, the bridge will include bike lanes and pedestrian walkways, encouraging the use of alternative modes of transport and reducing air pollution. So not only will the Gordie Howe Bridge be good for businesses, but it will also be good for the environment and public health. But for me, the biggest benefit of the Gordie Howe Bridge is the symbol it represents. The US and Canada have always had a strong relationship, and this bridge is a testament to that. By working together on this project, the two countries are demonstrating their commitment to collaboration and mutual benefit. And let's be real, in a world that can sometimes feel pretty divided, it's nice to see two countries coming together and building something together. So let us talk about the origins of the bridge. If you're thinking that, wait a minute, I thought this was just another boring old bridge, trust me, there's a lot more to this story of the Gordie Howe Bridge than meets the eye. First of all, let's talk about the name. The Gordie Howe Bridge is named after the legendary Canadian hockey player, Gordie Howe. If you're not a hockey fan, you might not know who he is, but trust me, the guy was a total beast on the ice. He played for the Detroit Red Wings and the Hartford Whalers, among other teams, and was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1972. So when it came time to name the new bridge connecting the US and Canada, it only made sense to honor a guy who had such a big impact on both countries. But the story of Gordie Howe Bridge doesn't start and end with a hockey player. The idea for the bridge actually goes back more than a decade to the early 2010s. At the time, there was a growing need for a new crossing over the Detroit River, as the existing crossings were getting congested and were unable to meet the increasing demand for trade and transportation between the US and Canada. So the governments of the US and Canada started looking into the possibility of building a new bridge. After years of planning and negotiations, the project finally got the green light in 2018, and the construction on the Gordie Howe Bridge began in 2020. 
The bridge is now being funded by a public-private partnership between the governments of the US and Canada and a private consortium called the Bridging North America team. And with a price tag of $4.4 billion, it's safe to say that this is one mega project. The Gordie Howe Bridge is set to be the longest cable stayed bridge in the world, stretching over the Detroit River and providing a vital trade link between the US and Canada. So where is all that money coming from? The Gordie Howe Bridge is being funded through a combination of private investment and government funding. The project is being implemented as a public-private partnership between the governments of the US and Canada and a private consortium called the Bridging North America team. The private consortium is responsible for designing, building, financing and maintaining the bridge, while the governments of the US and Canada are providing a portion of the funding and will be responsible for certain aspects of the project, such as land acquisition and customs facilities. In terms of the specific breakdown of funding, it's worth noting that the project is being funded through a combination of public and private sector sources. The governments of the US and Canada are providing a portion of the funding through a combination of federal, state and local sources. This includes funding from the Federal Highway Administration and the Michigan Department of Transportation in the US, as well as the Government of Canada's new infrastructure fund and the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority in Canada. Meanwhile, the private consortium is providing the remainder of the funding through a combination of equity and debt financing. This includes funding from private investors, as well as loans from banks and other financial institutions. The Gordie Howe Bridge is expected to generate significant revenue once it's completed and open to the public. This revenue will be used to offset the cost of the project and make it more financially sustainable over the long term. This includes revenue from tolls, as well as other sources such as concessions and advertising. The cost and funding for the Gordie Howe International Bridge are complex and multifaceted, involving a range of public and private sector sources. But with the project moving forward and construction underway, it's clear that the benefits of the bridge are expected to outweigh the costs in the long run. Of course, the benefits are going to outweigh the cost. If it weren't, the project would not have been approved in the first place. Challenges to the Gordie Howe Bridge. Traffic congestion. As with any major infrastructure project, one of the biggest challenges the Gordie Howe Bridge is likely to face is traffic congestion. The bridge is expected to carry a significant volume of trade and transportation between the US and Canada, and it's possible that it could become congested at times. To address this issue, the bridge is being designed with multiple lanes and other traffic management measures to help ensure the smooth and efficient flow of traffic. Environmental impacts. Another challenge that the Gordie Howe Bridge is likely to face is the potential for environmental impacts. The bridge is being built over the Detroit River, which is home to a wide range of wildlife and natural habitats. To minimize the impact of the bridge on the environment, the project has been designed with a number of environmentally friendly features, such as bike lanes and pedestrian walkways, as well as measures to reduce air pollution and protect wildlife. Funding and financing. As a major infrastructure project, the Gordie Howe Bridge is also likely to face challenges related to funding and financing. The project is being funded through a combination of private investment and government funding. And it's possible that there could be challenges in securing the necessary funding and financing to complete the project. Construction delays. Finally, the Gordie Howe Bridge is likely to face challenges related to construction delays. Building a bridge is no small feat, and it's possible that the project could encounter delays due to a range of factors, such as weather, labor shortages, or other unforeseen issues. Overall, the Gordie Howe International Bridge is likely to face a range of challenges in the future, both during and after construction. However, with careful planning and execution, it's hoped that these challenges can be effectively managed and overcome. All right, that's all the info I've got for you on the Gordie Howe International Bridge. I hope you guys found it interesting. This thing is set to be a major player in the world of trade and transportation and a symbol of the strong relationship between the US and Canada. Can't wait to see it in action.